Welcome to today's Grow It Green. I'm joined virtually by Emma Erler from UNH Cooperative Extension. And Emma, it's the time of year when a lot of us are getting out. And one of the things we want to do is we want to put down fertilizer. But you're saying, wait, hold on, know what you're doing there. Absolutely. You know, working for Extension, I always recommend that people get their soil tested. But even, even if you can't do that, it's helpful to know at least what's in that fertilizer you're putting down so that you, you know, have an idea whether the right nutrients are being added to your garden or to your lawn. When I look at a bag of fer fertilizer, generally what I'll see are three big numbers on the, on the front there. So can you walk us through those numbers and what they do? That's exactly right. So there are three numbers that are going to be right on that fertilizer bag, either on the front or on the side. And what those are referring to are the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium that's in that fertilizer. And what that actually stands for is the percent um, by weight of that product, of that nutrient. So for example, if you had a fertilizer that was 17, 18, 28, then you'd know that it was 17% nitrogen, 18% phosphorus, and 28% potassium, which is often expressed as potash. Now, are there certain things that uh, in the beginning of the year, I'm going to want to put down a different type of fertilizer than I will in the middle of the summer or the end of the year? Uh, it can potentially vary a little bit, but for in most cases, if you pick one fertilizer that really meets your soils and your plants needs, that's all you need to use during the season. So although there are these four step programs for, let's say, fertilizing lawns, a lot of times you can get away with just using one fertilizer that you apply in the spring, summer, and then fall. Emma, we have just a little time left, but are there certain things to be aware of that I might not need, say, a, a lot of nitrogen or a lot of potassium or what have you in soils here? Great question. New Hampshire soils tend to be really high in phosphorus. Most of the soil test reports I look at have very, very high amounts of phosphorus in them already. So I am pretty much always advising people to go with a no or low phosphorus fertilizer because phosphorus can definitely be a pollutant in water bodies in New Hampshire. So the bottom line, as always, is read the bag and know what you're putting in your soil. That's it for today's Grow It Green.